Welcome back fellow LEGO fans, it's Brixie here, got a LEGO City update for you guys today. Just want to give you guys a quick reminder just to comment on this video with any suggestions or critiques about my LEGO City because I do take those to heart. Also feel free to hit that thumbs up as you watch this video. So not a lot has changed here in the LEGO City. The modular buildings have all stayed the same along with the residential and boat docks. But there has been some significant changes on the other side of the LEGO City. Really, I haven't had any time to put any work into this area where all the modular buildings sit. I've mainly been working on the two new projects in the LEGO City which have to do with the private island that we see down in front of us here. Just created that new uh, six car garage. But that's the only progress that has been made on the island. Most of the progress that we're going to be discussing today is right over there in that area where all the Ninjago buildings sit along with the amusement park. The Ninjago district overlooks this little body of water that we see right here along with the beach. The beach is surrounded by a cliff edge which I created using lots of the Merp and Burp panels and also lots of dark bluish gray slope pieces. Hundreds of dark bluish gray slope pieces and hundreds more to come. Keep in mind that this area is still a work in progress and as we discuss this area that I'm currently working on make sure you remember to comment below with your suggestions and ideas. So right around here we can see the cliff edge which surrounds the body of water and the uh, beach. There's also that waterfall that the upper body of water flows down into the lower body of water which then connects with the boat docks on the far side here. So over the last uh, few days here, I've been able to finally put some work into this area in the city, mainly on that cliff edge a little bit, the roads going up, and also in that Ninjago district, which is the main focus of this video today. So right here down by the beach, we got the road that goes up and sort of at a, a 45 degree angle. There's two road plates that lead from the lower platform up to the top platform where we have the Ninjago district and the amusement park. So after driving up that road there you have access to the Ninjago district which you can see right here. I have the uh, Ninjago city set right here sort of sitting surrounded by water and then we have the temple right here and then the other mini structures that the temple comes with one right here and one on the other side. The, all the structures in the Ninjago district are connected by the reddish brown bridges. So there's like a walkway that minifigs can access all the different buildings in this area. There's also a little bridge or platform right here in which minifigs can look over the waterfall, sort of watch the waterfall as the water goes down and into the lower water reservoir. Still an early, early stage of its production here, but I think it is coming together quite nicely. You can see I've added a statue right here that actually came from the temple set, just because the temple set sort of had an awkward uh, set of stairs that re really didn't integrate well with my wooden bridge that connects it with the other Ninjago buildings. Right here we can see the entrance to the wooden pass. I connect all the Ninjago buildings. I use some of the elements from the temple set to create sort of an arch going over top of the paths. Then right here I've used some dark bluish gray bricks just to divide the water from the light bluish gray um, plates. Now you can see the top road I actually did raise it up one brick so that there is a, a sort of a separation between the depth of the water and the depth of the road so it sort of sits above the road. I still have to figure out how I'm going to integrate like a parking lot or something there. For now, I just put a sort of crossroad road plate there and sort of cased it in there so pe vehicles would be able to park uh, on those sort of zebra stripe uh, crosswalks and 
do a loop if they have to to go back down but that's still and once again it's early stage of production and i'm not sure what i'm going to do there as for the train station the train station remains the same i really do like the look of the train station i do plan on integrating a lot more shops and vendors inside the train station and also right out here as well some challenges that I've been experiencing here in this district or the Ninjago district is sort of integrating the two different heights smoothly because as we know this table here is topped with plywood and you can see one of the problems here this plywood likes to bow or bend and it's not integrating perfectly flush it's almost like curved a little bit so it's sort of giving me a headache what I sort of have to do I think is just treat them separately don't actually connect them but uh, just have one set of plates or bricks on this side and one on that and sort of smooth them together. So that is a challenge that I've been sort of trying to overcome here in the Ninjago district. Also, there's a, there's a lot more like, of challenges like that because dealing with such a big Lego city or a big surface and trying to get everything to line up perfectly when it's such a perimeter build, I've really had a challenge or difficulty lining everything up because it's a, such a big perimeter layout. And when it's a perimeter layout, I find it a little bit more difficult to get all the plates and everything to line up, especially when it comes to dealing with different heights. So that's one of the challenges that I've been experiencing here with this particular area in the LEGO City. Another challenge I've been experiencing here in this part of the lego city is i've run out of plates you can see over there in my train yard there's actually two plates that i had to take 248 by 48 uh, light gray base plates that i had to take to put over here and in the island so i have to go acquire a couple more plates even though i have so many uh, i need more so it's always something that i'm running into challenges with as well just not having even though you have so many parts as a lego builder it seems like you don't have the right parts all the time and if you guys were looking really closely at the water in this area you can tell that it is mashed together by lots of different styles and types and ages of plates uh, you can tell that by the different well obviously all the different lines between them all and also the different colors but at this time, that's just what I have to do. That's what uh, I'm not going to start spending a whole bunch of money. That's another thing that's really cool about this project here is it's virtually cost me zero dollars because I'm just using all the parts and whatnot from my collection. Now, right here, the cliff edge, I said I put hundreds and hundreds of parts into that cliff edge, and that is true and I said I was gonna add a whole bunch more. So right down here, I got a couple bins of dark bluish gray parts that I will be integrating into that cliff edge. That's all the slopes, rock panels, bricks, everything like that. So that sort of gives you an idea of how much more work I have to go uh, because I plan on integrating all of those parts into the Ninjago district. So still lots of stuff going on here. I just like sharing videos uh, in regards to all this stuff early just so I can get your guys' opinion and uh, feedback. That's really about it for today. Just wanted to share with you guys the progress I've made here in the Ninjago district. Finally, I've made this progress. It's it's been a uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been thinking about this area for a long time and I'm finally starting to get onto the right track with the cliff edge, the pathways, all the different structures. One structure that is missing here is the city docks. Unfortunately, like I keep saying my budget right now is a little bit tight and I'm not able to obtain that set as of yet but one day the city docks will be there thanks a lot for watching guys do appreciate the view if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up stay tuned for some more great stuff have a great day